Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. I'm going to be sewing a roundabout today. So I'm sorting the pieces out so I have nice looking blocks. The roundabout comes in a pre-cut kit like this with all the pieces in there. So I'm doing the Wisteria Lane color. So I'm just kind of doing what we call deal a meal. So I've got my lights and darks here. I've got the darks out. There's four darks in each block. So I'm just going to put some lights. So you can just open the package and pick the pieces up at random. It'll still work. This is just a little bit easier. So give me a few moments. I'll get these all sorted and then I'll show you how we sew them together. So I've got four lights and four darks, and these are the ones that I want to go in one block. So I'm going to lay these out. So since this block has two greens, they're going to be on opposite sides. Then we're going to do a purple and a blue. And then the lights, there's no particular right or wrong way to do this. You might say I'd rather have that next to that because those are both purpley. So I'm going to switch them around. I've got a little too much there. I'm actually going to put it next to there because I think it's more balanced like that. But since we've picked out a lot of different colors, there's no real right or wrong way to do it. Now I'm going to make sure they're all right side up, which is, you know, it's a little hard to tell on batik sometimes, but we figure if you can't tell, it really doesn't matter. So these are the eight pieces that will go in the roundabout block. And I sew them in pairs. So I'm going to do these two, these two, these two, and these two. So I'm going to take the light and just flip it over on top of the dark, take it over here onto my machine. Now I'm using a darker blue thread. I normally would use a lighter thread, but it doesn't show up that well in the video. So pick the lightest thread because you don't want those threads to show through. I'm just using a darker one so you can see my stitching line. Now again, over here, we're going to put the light on top of the dark. We're going to line the edges up. I like sewing from the wide down to the narrow here. I'm using a quarter inch seam. Just stitch right along the edge. Light on top of the dark. Now we're going to clip them apart. We're going to keep them in that same order. Now, I like to have my seam allowances facing the darker fabric. So my seam allowance here is going to be sticking this way, and I'm going to just finger press. So I'm taking my, I'm opening it up, and I'm just using my fingernail and pressing it just a little bit. That was our first one. Seam allowance towards the dark side. So see, with the finger pressing, see how it's laying just the way you want it to go? That's going to go next. So there's our four pairs. Now, to sew the block together, I'm going to sew this, and then I'll have a half. And I'm going to sew this, and then I'll have a half. But I'm going to do it in one long seam. So this is going to go on top of there. This is going to go on top of here. So I'm going to sew here, leave it on the machine, and sew there. So this comes first. Match your corners up. I like to get it started a little. Then I match this end up. See how my seam allowances are going in opposite directions? And the seam line, they're right on top of each other. And you can feel they're right up next to each other snug. And we'll sew down there. Now this next piece is going to go just like this. So I'm going to line up this top edge first. Again, seam allowances are going opposite directions. That reduces the bulk in your quilt. Match it up. 
Catch your other end up. Now I'm going to leave these pairs together. I'm going to open them both up. You'll see that it'll make a block. And we're going to put this seam allowance away from the light. Give it a good finger press right along that edge because it's a little bit thicker. Now this seam allowance, again, away from the light towards the dark print. And that means this seam allowance is going to the right and this seam allowance is going to the left. That means when I put these together, I've got quite a bit less bulk in the middle there. So I'm going to line up these top corners here. And then I'm going to hold the bottom corners. And then I'm going to, so that gets it pretty well matched, but you need to check here to make sure that this seam here is right on top of the back because you want those points to match. So we're going to sew along here and we're going to go right, that's where we want our stitching line to go, right where that corner is, right in that intersection right there. And if your pieces are sewn correctly, the back will match as well. So make sure your seam allowances that you can feel they're facing the right way. Now there's other methods for getting this to match up. You can stick a pin in this juncture here and make sure it's in the same juncture in the back. I have a feeling my seam allowance was a little too narrow, but when we opened it up we can tell. Almost perfect. I could take a little deeper seam allowance and my point will be a little more pronounced. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So this last seam allowance I'm just going to put to one side. You could open it up if you want. I like to just do it to one side. So that is how you make the block. Here's some more of the blocks here. So let me move my stack. So every block is made the same way. We're going to make all the blocks in the kits light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. When we're all done making the blocks, we're going to put the corners on. And the corners, this is how you make it square. So you would put them on every other corner here. Once you get that seam sewn, this piece will fit exact. So think of it like that. So the corners are going to go on every block. On half of the blocks, they're going to go on the dark. On the other half of the blocks, they're going to go on the lights. That means when you put these blocks together, you'll have a light big triangle next to a dark big triangle. So that's what it looks like when you get all the blocks together. You'll notice it has kind of a round and star effect, but there's no curves in here. It's just this same block over and over. So you just keep making all these blocks till you're done with all 24. And you put the corners on and in a minute I'll show you what the finished quilt looks like. Here's the finished quilt. Now you can see the rounds and the star points. Very cool pattern. It's called a one block wonder. So it's just this same block over and over and over. So here's an extra block. So let's see where it goes. Just like that. So try the roundabout quilt. It's lots of fun. Thanks for watching.